Hi. We are back with another session of Let's Talk Travel. Can you guys hear me? So, how are you guys all doing? Like, uh, hey guys. if you have... Hi. What's up? All good. How are you? Very good. So, hi, Sen. Say hello from one more Sen. <laughs> yeah, your last. We have the same name. Yes, we, we um, share the same surname. Yeah. So, how's the lockdown been treating you? Is it all good? All good. All good. Uh, learning a lot of good lessons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so definitely nice. Okay. Okay, that's good. So to everyone who's joining us right now, um, this is Sen and I'm, the, I'm from Fab Getaways and we're having Let's Talk Travel episode two. And today we have with us Romir Sen. He's a travel influencer who's been traveling for the last 13 years and has, he has covered over 30, 33 countries. Yeah. Is that right? Yes. And uh, 60 cities in India. That's a lot of countries. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, countries and cities. Yeah, <laughs> so, but I do love it. I do love mm, that. Mm. So, uh, if anyone has any questions for Romir, you can just uh, leave your questions in the question tag below. Um, so, uh, Romir, how how's like everything been going? Like everyone at home, are you? Uh, so you're in Mumbai, I, I'm, I'm hoping. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so how's it been going? Uh, it was going uh, very good up till yesterday, uh, but mm. now our area where I live in uh, has come under the containment zone. So now oh. it's going to be a heavy lockdown wherein we will not be able to leave from our uh, area also. So now mm. it's going to be like a proper, proper indoor, uh, mm. no, not even going somewhere nearby. So it's mm. going to be, uh, it's going to be a new task. That's it. Yeah. So um, you, ha you it's been like three months without travel now for you. What's that oh, been like? Yes. <laughs> Call came in. Uh, the thing was that just before uh, lockdown also, I was about to fly to uh, London and Italy. And I, oh, I actually oh. uh, thank my stars that I did not. Uh, because yeah. in, uh, who knows that if I would had and I, well, I could have got stuck out there or maybe if I would have returned, I would have uh, catched up with some kind of a disease. So uh, I'm happy. Uh, mm -hmm. See, traveling is a part of life uh, yeah. since, since childhood. Uh, in the early ages, my parents used to take me out. Then, then I started uh, doing it. Uh, so yeah, it is. It's a different kind of a world because I never stayed in my city so much or at my home mm -hmm. so much. Like now, I have to do. Uh, mm -hmm. But this is also a great thing. I I am uh, catching up on all my old stuff, uh, checking my pictures, posting it, uh, writing my pending blogs. So even at least I'm happy that I can share all that. So when this uh, COVID ends and when this pandemic ends, people would get to know where to travel, how to travel, and uh, the, there are different modes of traveling and how to save money on traveling mm. and uh, uh, the main purpose of travel one should get to know and mm. that's what I'm, uh, I've started writing through my blogs wherein uh, yeah. I'm t telling people that it's not about the place you travel it's about the story you create mm. uh, we, we, should, we have to be story creators uh, you know when we were kids uh, our grandparents used to uh, talk to us make us sleep uh, talking about stories uh, yeah. Today, people, they don't have stories. They just say, hey, I was I made some TikTok videos or hey, I just did this on uh, <laughs> Facebook or uh, Instagram. No, but yeah. so with travel, you might be able to create those kind of stories. And mm. this pandemic actually uh, made many, many people uh, get time for themselves. So this okay. is a good uh, way that people could start writing, uh, could creating something. So there are people who had a passion of music so they can... Uh, learn some musical instruments if they were, had a passion of cooking they can start cooking so yeah there were there were a couple of good stuff which can even happen during this pandemic and by staying mm. at home we just okay, need yeah. to find that one thing yeah so to, uh, coming back to your travel uh, blog i see that you've started a new blog uh, travel postcards yes i think i think you started that in may right um, uh, earlier, it was actually basically on a WordPress site. 
so hmm. yes i had written couple of uh, things uh, in on that now hmm. the, but because of the uh, wordpress the audience they don't like to go and see a lot of there so hmm. i brought it down to a proper uh, website uh, on travel postcard so yes i'm just shifting all my content from wordpress to this uh, official website of mine hmm. wherein people will definitely get to see a lot uh, and read a lot about travel read a lot about uh, hotel reviews which where i have mm-hmm. been staying where i have stayed or where i would like to go uh, yeah. plus there are new stories i am connecting with lovely people for example you guys and there are other few people also whom i am connecting mm-hmm. with and trying to uh, bring in stories within india mm-hmm. from abroad why india because as a traveler for me also like when the people are talking uh, are questioning about international travels i would as a traveler plus as a travel influencer or a blogger request everybody not to do international travel at least up till 2021 Mm. and 2020 me one does not mean that we are going to go for a 31st night december party no i am yeah. talking that don't even think of traveling before february or march uh, okay. 2021 because we mm. don't know what is coming or what is still uh, awaited for us so mm. that's yes that so that travel postcards will have a lot of content so as you know that travel to 33 countries 60 yeah. cities plus uh, a lot of pictures are there a lot of stories are there so mm. those all are coming uh, daily out there <laughs> yeah so um i understand that you started traveling around 2 years ago like com- became a completely full time traveler yes yes and how how was that how did that happen like what what inspired you to just leave your um family business and just get into travel completely like 100% uh, so, uh, so actually i would say that uh, n- uh, when i had decided uh, that i want to leave my family business uh, it was mm-hmm. already at the peak and uh, it was uh, it was on a uh, autopilot mode i did not have mm-hmm. to do much and being a creative guy i always was looking for something more uh, was coming up with a travel portal actually uh, mm-hmm. so when you want to start up a travel portal for everyone you want to travel and first uh, understand the business understand the people and understand the need uh, what people should be given up uh, mm-hmm. that started making me from one place to another to uh, more places i started staying staying at every, uh, different kinds of hotel in one particular city uh, mm-hmm. so today if i am staying in one hotel tomorrow i would be in another property mm-hmm. uh, so yes it uh, i started loving it more i started meeting people i started seeing indian culture or international culture it made me meet up new new types of people new kinds of uh, different genres of uh, people and yes uh, that was a life which uh, then i i decided that i need it and other than when you are in a family business it's always known as their business it's nothing mm. about you uh, mm. being a traveler and uh, being uh, coming into a travel influencing or a full time travel then started making an identity of myself Yeah. when you are a traveler uh, you meet so many people and that uh, they teach you uh, lessons at every point of time you mm. never know which city or which person you are meeting is going to uh, give you that lesson of uh, your life with that you change as a human being or a person uh, okay. sometime it can be a monk at a temple or it can be simple a random random uh, people you are staying with mm. so i have done couch surfing i had been staying so for many who don't know about couch surfing couch surfing is staying for free with the family in some particular city in mm-hmm. abroad i now it has started in india also but i have not done it in india but yes mm-hmm. internationally i have done that i have stayed in uh, hostels i have stayed at luxury properties uh, yes so from flying a plane to jumping off a plane to going under water <laughs> doing scuba i have done it almost all but yes mm-hmm. a few things are still pending in my bucket list which uh, <laughs> i hopefully start want to uh, do that after the covid yeah you'll go, you'll do it after you know everything is over yes. Have, uh, talking about everything like just putting it past us like where do you think um, you know what do you think travel will look like once everything is behind us it will look beautiful trust me it will look beautiful why mm. we have uh, i remember uh, when i was in italy a uh, mm. few years back i had gone to venice 
Hmm. And I thought that hey, I'm going to the most beautiful romantic capital of the world. Yeah. And uh, when I went there, when I landed, and when I was in one of the uh, <laughs> yachts, who was which is going to take me to the main city from the airport, yeah. I was like, I'm in a bloody slum. So in Mumbai, if everybody knows in India, there is a slum called Dharavi. Hmm. So I literally called it like a Dharavi of Europe. It was so dirty. It was so yuck. Uh, hmm. I didn't even want to do the gondola because it was stinking. I said, hmm. "Hey, I, I I took pictures. I took a small round. Just hmm. drop me back because it was uh, it was very very hmm. bad." So yeah. now, because of this, I am uh, very very much sure that the world will be a beautiful place to live in. Hmm. We will all now see the actual thing what we go to travel for the nature or what uh, the universe created. Hmm. So if now you are, now the generation will also see less of plastic uh, hmm. less of dirt and a real we a beautiful Definitely. world yeah yeah that is so true um so we have people just sending in their questions also hi anya oh yeah so i hi uh, yeah. anya <laughs> hi pratik sharma hi akhil so hi suchi hi kajal ji hi so kajal <laughs> is basically the person who does my ticketing so uh, i guess you should ask her that how much loss she is in currently because i am not going <laughs> and traveling so all my uh, flight tickets are booked by her so <laughs> okay. kailesh ji jibin veer sports hi nupur uh, yeah yeah so there are a lot of people yeah hmm. um so uh, what was the last place that you traveled to before like the lockdown started masuri Okay, that must have been an adventure. <laughs> uh, that was an adventure because it was a uh, it was a boy trip out and it was a bachelor's boy trip out. Uh, mm. So yeah, my friend was getting married and just before the marriage, uh, the bachelor's trip. Yes, it was a mm. lot of fun, lot of fun. Mm. We saw the first snowfall, and yes, uh, it was uh, it was mesmerizingly beautiful. It was a car, uh, simple those kind of trips where we. Start up in the morning and drive mm. from Delhi city to Dehradun, from Dehradun to Masuri. So it was a long six hours in the drive, but a mm. fun ride and a four day trip with Sterling Holidays. Uh, so one of the bestest property, as you guys also know, it's in Masuri. Mm. We had a blast and going up to the Lal <laughs> Tikba or seeing the top of the first Indian post office mm. uh, in Masuri. Yes, yes. So they did all loads yeah. of those kind of stuffs. Sounds like you had fun. Yeah, a lot um, of fun. <laughs> to keep the fun going, we're just gonna play like a short, you know, two-minute game. It's no, it's a ninety-second game, and wow. you're going to have to answer as fast as possible. Okay. Like it's just ninety minutes, and there's like we have fifteen words for you, and okay. we're just gonna check how much you're gonna score. <laughs> okay. So are you are you ready? All set. Um, this is a, a game where you know we'll just say a word. And you have to say the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the word. Okay. Okay. Let's begin the game now. In three, two, one. Fab getaways. The most beautiful place to book your hotel bookings. Adventure. Uh, skydive. Airport. Singapore. Eiffel Tower. Paris. Beautiful. Women. <laughs> Just stand. I didn't get it. Rajasthan. Rajasthan. Deserts. Chole Pature. Delhi. Air India. First airline. Maldives. Honeymoon. <laughs> Romance. Paris again. Uh, essentials. <laughs> Travel gear. Travel. All the time. Magic. Sa shooting star. uh postcards travel postcards <laughs> royal me oh marine drive <laughs> always go for a drive on the marine drive <laughs> netherlands amsterdam sunsets again i will go to maldives okay well um actually we ran out of questions before we ran out of time <laughs> <laughs> so i think you did pretty good there you got like 18 out of 15 which wow. is, <laughs> so you know i hope you had fun i had a lot of fun thing i i i i had a lot of fun so <laughs> the, by the, so i forgot my introduction that yes i am from a royal blood so when you said mm. royal so it had to be me 
<laughs> so okay. yes, yes. So that that was nice enough. So at least I won. So that that is the best thing. Yeah, <laughs> that was fun for all of us. Um, yeah. So now we're just gonna move on to the section where we ask like ask like um, questions from some of our followers. Sure. And uh, we have a few questions here. We asked, uh, we put up a story where we asked our followers to send in their questions for you, and yeah. we had a few questions. We're just gonna ask them. Um, sure. So we have Manasi Suchak. Um, she was she just wanted to know about like the best property in the Maldives, like with the whole package. Uh, over water pool villa food activities and everything what do you think is like the best property in the Maldives for all that uh so um, right mansi right the mm. question is from mansi manasvi manasvi uh, the thing about maldives is maldives have multiple islands and multiple properties mm. uh it is always gonna be about your budget how much you gonna spend for it every uh, island is a hotel property uh, only the uh, Malay, the main city has multiple hostels and uh, small properties wherein you can stay like a hotel. Otherwise, every island is different. Every island will fulfill all the needs which you are saying. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, uh, today the most expensive property which we all know in Maldives is Soneva Jani. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, if you are that kind of a person who wants to spend around 5 to 8 lakhs a day or a, or a night, uh, INR, then Soneva Jani, wherein you can just open your uh, rooftop, uh, go and climb and just uh, ski down into the water. Mm -hmm. So yes, uh, other than that, you need to uh, search an island as per your budget. Every, every island and every hotel in Maldives is too beautiful. So mm -hmm. if, if I, so as per me, if I have so much of money in my bank account, and if I would have got stuck in Maldives at this point of time with money in my account, I would have hopped only to island, to island, to island, to island because they are fab and uh, go on uh, because fab gateways have a picture of mine. Uh, uh, you would, if you are lucky, you would see the, the lovely Milky Way in the night with the shooting star. So go on, uh, find what your budget is and Fab Gateways will do the rest for you. They will give you a good, uh, so maybe <laughs> they, they will give you, get you a discount of more than 60%, 80% and That's true. make you go to some, some nice island which uh, you all, you never wished for or even never thought of. They will give you that, that such kind of a beautiful property. That is so true. <laughs> if anyone's looking to go to Maldives in the future, that they can always come to our website and just check them out, you know. Um, maybe not now, but in the future, definitely. We have like, um, some of the best properties and it's like um, aff affordable. It's, you don't have to spend a crazy amount of money to experience, you know, to have the best experience in the Maldives. So anyone who's looking to go to the Maldives in the future, you're always welcome. <laughs> yeah, so um, I, would, I would say that I stayed in two properties in Maldives. I had, I've mm -hmm. been to Maldives twice. I have stayed at uh, the Eriadu uh, Island in Maldives and I have stayed at the Taj property. Mm. Uh, both were different. One was with my parents. So they are, of mm. course, you can understand that they spent at Taj. <laughs> mm. with, uh, so I had a friend's wedding uh, in Maldives. Uh, I won't say, I will say wedding party. Let me correct it because weddings cannot happen in uh, Maldives. So mm. friend's wedding party in uh, Maldives. And yes, I stayed at Eriadu. Uh, it is one of the best. It is very affordable. It is good for the pocket. And uh, yes, you can try it out if you are under budget and rest. Mm. Other th this was my, my kind of an experience with Maldives. Rest there. Yeah, of course, uh, Sam, uh, Sen and her team will definitely help you out. Mm. So um, we have another question by Monica Verma. She wants to know when, um, when do you think we can start traveling? That's the question she asked. Uh, I am hoping... 2021 as mm. I uh, started we are saying that in the beginning only mm. uh, please understand why uh, because this virus currently uh, is shooting up and we don't have any particular vaccine for it so any error will only lead us to a deathbed and I don't don't wish that for anybody so mm. as a travel influencer or a blogger if you see me ever traveling on leisure, that will be only in 2021. Yes, I, you might see me traveling soon, but only for business trips. That mm -hmm. too, if it is very essential. Otherwise, I would also prefer staying back at home. Mm 
Mm. I understand, An- Anya, that you are missing your vacation, but uh, uh, please, please stay at home and stay safe. It's not not good to go out right now. The world can wait for you. <laughs> um, so in t- today's session, we had a few questions as well. We had okay. Shona Gujral. She was quite uh, curious about how you manage. Like you're in, uh, she's asking how are you managing investments for traveling. So I guess she wants to know like how how you're handling all that. You know, with ease. No, it's it's not ease. Uh, I forgot the name. What did you mention? Uh, her name was uh, Shona Gujral. Shona Shona Gujral. Mm-hmm. Shona. Uh, First of all, you have a very beautiful Bengali name. It's a Shona means a loved one. But yes, uh, other than that, uh, financials are the basic uh, thing which you always have to look at. So if you are uh, planning a trip, you need to plan it at well advance. There are many, many websites and many travel agents who can help you with good tickets. And you are on the page with Fab Gateways. So I'm very much sure Fab Gateways will help you manage that. what you have to understand and uh, tell anybody so may, whether you are connecting with uh, sen oh. also in the future uh, sorry about and, that uh, no worries mm. so if you are connecting to a team of fab gateways also so you have to tell them okay this is my budget and mm. if you need to be unrestricted in that budget then you have to keep your travel plans open you don't have to be saying oh i want to ja- travel on jan 15th only in 2020 or mm. i want to travel next week then if it is an international travel you need to space out when you space out other than that hotels uh, when you are traveling uh, shona you would understand you are going to sleep only for couple of hours in the uh, hotel or uh, so let me uh, uh, send if we have two minutes i will uh, explain this in a better way i had mm. i was on a 18 day trip uh, in which i covered nine countries Hmm. Wow. in europe so okay. now, how did we manage to do that and how did we save money in it is that we used to uh, take night travel trains from one country to another hmm. so what it benefited us was that we were not staying in a hotel property we were sleeping in that train so wow. we saved that time we saved the money of travel uh, because there it would be travel plus hotel here we managed it with just travel hmm. uh, hotel became free so in the morning we were as it is fresh because in the train you will always be sleeping so you got fresh you saw one more country or you stayed for at one more place and you finished off your things if you don't want to stay for a longer time then you again take a night train and go away hmm. so or even there are night buses uh, beautiful buses in europe even why europe it is even there in asia if hmm. you go to thailand if you go to indonesia there are night buses which will take you from one place to another uh those buses are not like indian buses so please mm. you don't worry about it they are one of the most beautiful luxury buses like in limousine mm. so you can enjoy there so try to save money there and thirdly is about food uh so if you don't want to uh, end up uh, burning your money try taking up some snacks from india uh, like a kickback or munch on protein bars and you will be cool enough you are going the uh, going for a fast trip to enjoy the places not to just hog on to food and spend all the money instead save that money and do a lot of shopping carry your bag uh, light and bring it uh, heavy that's that's the motto of life uh yeah thank you for joining us from here um it has been an absolute pleasure having you if you know that uh, a lot of people are looking to travel again like we have anya say uh, she's badly missing vacations and all so uh what do you, would you like to leave like a positive message for those people who are like um really longing to travel but you know uh, are are limited because of the lockdown and the restrictions would you like to leave like a special message for them i would say that uh, all the lovely people who are right now today with us mm. travel is going to happen mm. uh okay. travel is our life and mm. what you guys are doing with traveling is to live your own lives uh, mm. the people who work 9 to 5 and they, they don't travel i think their life is miserable i mm. would say that the people who travel and who uh, visit new places for them it is a new lessons it is like mm. living a life like a notebook yeah travel is going to happen soon what we expect that 
or as a travel uh, guy or with talking with fab gateways as a travel agency mm-hmm. we both are saying that travel start traveling but for that first travel within indian uh, mm, markets yes travel within india travel to your close by locations mm. wherein you are close to home when we see now for example new zealand has said that it is uh, already in, uh, a covid free country yeah. uh, cyprus has declared it's a covid free country uh, switzerland has declared it's a covid free country so many countries slowly steadily are uh, stating that they are covid free yeah. so keep a watch for international travels the only thing would be you are at a safe zone when you travel in 2021 because you don't know if there will be a slight outburst hmm. so if you want to travel like i am also going to be traveling uh, from next month so i am hmm. going to be traveling within india hmm. uh, cuz of course we all have been indoors but with hmm. even if you are traveling right now remember just don't go with a mask it mm. is not going to help you you mm. need to wear a complete ppe kit yeah go true. travel and you should be able to spend on that ppe kit you throw it once you enter some place and when you are leaving you will have to throw it so life we like you are wearing a cloth you need to keep wearing a ppe kit you change it every day we heard the only thing is you don't reuse it Hmm. so you can start traveling uh, you can travel as soon as i'm saying by august because uh, keep a watch for the rains and what hmm. effects the rains give uh, the monsoons give to the nation hmm. otherwise uh, and fab gateways go to their page yesterday they posted so many awesome locations the okay. first being in karnataka and hmm. uh, so i keep on staying a lot in bangalore and uh, the first thing which got into my eyes was such a beautiful property by uh, hmm. which fab gateways have put up so start traveling ask fab gateways uh, at every interval that is it safe to go to this place or is it hmm. safe to go to that place our current scenario suggestions to everyone is don't be a hero don't be a heroine don't book it yourself book it via uh, someone like fab gateways because they are constantly in touch with every hotel property sure. with every city uh, or uh, every uh, tourism uh, ministry and they know what is the current scenario so oh. they will be able to help you out at every stage and even if you get stuck somewhere they are always 24 hours at your uh, yeah. need so please Definitely. contact them and i am sure they will they, if if i am t- telling august but you are in a some safe zone you might be able to travel from tomorrow so they are so <laughs> message fab gateways uh, keep mailing them keep troubling them uh, every uh, third day hey can we travel can we travel can we travel and then then you are sorted so hmm. to a happy traveling guys uh, I, i i and i hope that somewhere some part uh, in some country or some city uh, you come across me and we say hi and we say click a uh picture together and send it to fab gateways <laughs> well uh thank you for that message i'm sure our followers and those who are like viewing it right now will appreciate it um i hope that everyone who joined us today for our live session had fun um join us later join us next friday for our third episode of let's talk travel have a great evening romir thank you san uh, it was let's talk travel let's keep tra- talking travel forever and ever with fab gateways <laughs> Ciao. Definitely. Bye. Bye-bye.